Hello everybody and welcome back to City Skylines 2, where we are currently a little bit concerned about all- Oh, okay, it suddenly became night when I unpaused there. That's exciting. I guess that does make sense. It does do that after I load up. It doesn't calculate like the time of day and the weather until after I unpause it. That's a very strange thing. I'm not going to lie. That's a very strange thing. But here we are. So we do have some pollution going on over here that is affecting a few of these areas, but it is getting significantly better. Like this is definitely shrinking and, and improving. So we'll just let that be for the time being. That's okay. We're going to see a lot of notifications about people not liking living near in industrial areas, but that's okay. All of the crime around, can we get more police, please? I feel like we have enough police. I'm going to be honest. Yeah, I'm aware of how police work. Uh, I clicked next on that. Okay, cool. Yep, they send out police cars to patrol the city, and they're doing exactly that. Phenomenal. And we want to keep crime low, and our average crime probability is 3%. There are two crimes per month right now, and we have one criminal. 100% crime success rate, though. That might be what's going on there, where the police are not, like, interfering with the crime success rate. So this is space for more police vehicles. 18,000 per month. I mean, that's not that much, I suppose, per month when we figured this is per hour. But we definitely do need some more things going on there. Now, we do have a lot of high rent in our industrial area here. This is all commercial over here, right? I think so. No, all of this is in industrial area with the high rent. Okay, what is this notification here? Not enough customers? Sure. Okay, so I'm going to continue to build some industrial up over here for the time being. And we'll see how that ends up going. That should deal with a fair amount of this demand anyway. Yeah, that should do for now. There's also some low-density demand, and we'll see about putting in some more low-density residential over here. For the time being, that seems reasonably fine. So many people are getting sick. You know, I'm not sure that they are, though. I think that might just be to do with this pollution. Is the theory. We'll see if that plays out. We can definitely get rid of that object there. It was abandoned. Now we're waiting for a hearse here. I've found that every time this happens, the hearse is like right arriving, like right then. So that's definitely interesting. The sun is coming up. That's nice. And our road maintenance. Do we have a road maintenance depot? I'm not sure that we do. We can definitely see these roads down here are potentially not super well maintained. So I'm just thinking here... Yeah, this can fit into one of these blocks. Okay, noted. We could certainly put it, like, right here. It is expensive, and how much does it cost? 30000 a month? I mean, we do need to be a little bit careful about that, but for now, that'll be okay. Now, this is commercial, right? Yeah, this is a commercial area here. So the road maintenance depot is sending its vehicles out to maintain the road. Perfect. Second moon and off we go. That should increase our road speeds at least a little bit. We do see an abandoned house over here. There we go. And the next question is, how is this pollution doing? Yeah, this is definitely shrinking. When we first started looking at it, this outer band was out to like here. So it's shrunk by like a third in this time. So that's looking good. Yeah, this house in particular, it's going to have a rough go of it. But for right now, I think this is reasonably fine. We're also zoned here, but we haven't built it. Nobody's built here. I'm assuming that's due to the pollution. But I don't 100% know that. That is the assumption for the moment. So we've got a lot of residential zoned out over here. We should probably continue some residential up this direction. So we would build a four-lane road, and that would be in right up to here. Now, we've got this highway here. I do want to back off the highway a little bit. We can't actually back it further than this, though. So that highway is going to be mildly awkward for us. No doubt about that. 
Okay, we're gonna have to go there for the moment. And now I think we can probably delete this section. Yes. So that looks good. No issues there. We need to bring this guy up to be right. I feel like this needs to be a little bit higher than it was. Okay, we're having a hard time centering it on this road. Oh, we're on Avenue. No wonder. Things felt very strange there for a moment. And I was like, hang on. We're on the wrong road size. Okay, this feels much more normal. Fantastic. So I'm just going to build these straight on up over this way. So this is, of course, going to need to be at 90 degrees. Like that. That doesn't feel quite right. Something went wrong here, I think. Hang on. Let's try that again. So exactly 90 degrees, 112 meters. Exactly 90 degrees, 113, but probably due to the grade. And then this one would move up to here. That feels much better. Yes. So that's reasonably fine. No issues whatsoever there. So we're going to bring that right on in over here, although that's 88 degrees. Hang on. That's 90. Perfect. Next up, I want to bring this guy up to here. I don't think that was the right angle, though. Hang on. I'm messing something up here. It's trying to link it into this highway, which is not what we want it to do. So we're going to bring this up to 110 to 118. I guess this one's 110. Sure. I'm just going to, co to connect this directly in here for right now. I hate it. Okay. <laughs> we're going to back that off a bit. And we're going to delete these for the time being. We're going to try this again. So we're going to grab our avenue here. And we're going to move that straight on out like so to here. Beautiful. Then this guy is going to connect right on in here. Just like that. Cool. And then we'll have this come on over to here. But I do want this to connect in down here. So we'll do something along the lines of that. So at least we have some amount of connection here, right? So that'll be fine. Now we can bring this road straight on up and connect these straight through. Technically, that's 93 degrees. There we go. That's the angling we're looking for. That's the angling we're looking for. And that's the angling we're looking for. Cool. So it'll be something approximately like that. So we've got a little bit more space up here for residential. We're probably going to want to expand up this direction and down this way fairly soon. We have 20 map tile unlocks, so <laughs> we're not really hurting on that front. Let's get this thing bulldozed. Phenomenal. It's feeling chilly. Okay, fair enough. The smog is unbearable. Well, yeah, I mean, we do have this pollution over here, and there's also this pollution, which, if we want to check this, this is the ground pollution. This is the air pollution here. So, the crematorium does produce a little bit of air pollution. That's noted. We may want to move the crematorium up here. So, if we were to relocate that, we would put that, like, right up over this way. 60,000 to relocate? That's a lot. But okay. We'll do that. That, of course, allows us to have a little bit more here that we can do in low-density housing, which we'll do. And we do see demand for industrial creeping up. So we'll get some of that going as well. So I don't really love this commercial here. I'm going to get rid of that. And I'm actually going to get rid of this commercial as well and rezone that industrial for the time being. We'll just do something along the lines of that one. Phenomenal. So, of course, we've got our groundwater pumping station here. But we also have our water pumping station here. So we can see we're at 54% usage there, but only 1% usage here. So that's looking reasonable. Yes, these are demand or rather these are abandoned because we unzoned it. Which makes sense. Get out of here. Phenomenal. What is this? There's a traffic jam. There kinda is here. 
Why are they doing this? Where is this coming from? Interesting pathfinding. Okay. So to that end, let's give them a little bit of a bypass here. So we're going to purchase this map tile here. We'll get that done. Then we're going to extend out this road. Assuming we don't have to move the road maintenance depot, I would really prefer not to have to do that. Hopefully we can squeak in an avenue here. I think we can. So that guy would go right here. Perfect. And then we would look to bring that up over here, right? So this guy would come on over to right here. And then we'd bring this down like that. Okay. That should get them a higher throughput street that connects up over here, in theory. Now, we'll see if they actually start using it. There goes one person. Yeah, there's a few people using it. But we might need to let this flow through a little bit in order for this to update. This is not registering as a traffic jam anymore. And we'll also continue to add additional roadage through here, right? So we can certainly build additional roads up like so. So that would go right here. And right here. Now here we run into a bit of a problem with our dump. So for now, that's fine. We can take it up to here. But we can't take it any further than that. So let's just grid this up. And that should allow some alternate routes. Hopefully. So just bring this right on over to here. There we go. And then this road would connect right on over to here. Now one thing we could definitely do is we can rework the actual landfill here. So I want to adjust this area tool. So I want to move this node to be here and here for now. That should allow us to bring this road right on up. Now we're not going to have this road connecting here. I don't think there's really anything we can do about that, right? So we've got three and at best four, but probably, or rather at best five, but probably more like four blocks here. And we need one one, two, three, four, five, six, maybe. It's probably going to be expensive to, to relocate. Yeah, it's not going to happen. Okay, so that's fine. We'll just leave this be for now. So that'll create a bunch of theoretical options here. One thing I'm wondering is, oh, we have a huge demand for offices at this moment. Right, because we deleted our offices. That makes sense. We're going to build office space over here then. There we go. Excellent. So that'll look good for now. We'll get some offices going there. We do see some commercial demand coming up. So we could certainly put in a little bit more commercial over here for now. We're going to want to get maybe a little more disciplined with this. But for the moment, this will do. Low density housing demand. Okay. I don't like zoning low density housing at this point, but I guess we'll zone some. Not a huge fan of it. Cool. So we're currently at about 4,500 people and we're still growing decently. We're actually about to start turning a profit here. That's a really good sign. We're very, very close to that now. So that does look very good indeed. It looks like this has fully cleaned up at this point. Yep, no issue with this traffic now. So all we did was update the pathfinding, right? So that they're less reliant on this exact location. Now, one thing I want to check. These roads are medium speed. Large roads are high speeds. And highways are large amounts of noise pollution but very high speed. Okay. Highways generate large amounts of noise pollution, which prohibits zoning around them. Interesting. So we would be looking for probably like one of these six lane roads for these. I don't know. One thing I would be interested in doing 
is finding out, is there a way where we can, like, set the actual speeds on these? I don't know. We're also at a different time of day, so traffic might be lower over here. I do want to point that out. So that is a possibility. We have some abandoned areas over here. We'll get rid of those. Okay. So we're currently chilling at pretty decent happiness, all things considered. We're losing a little bit of money right now. The city is incredibly noisy. Yes, this is accurate for the moment. <laughs> One thing we can think about doing is elevating these roads as well, and we might do that. It's going to require a significant rework if we do. We'll see. All the crime. I'm not so sure about that. I'm not so sure that there's a huge amount of crime out there right now. Two per month, it's still a 100% crime success rate. More high-end stores. Bringing the latest so that might have something to do with it. But we have no criminals at this moment. Shoes while sipping a fancy local Jarva like, there are literally no criminals right now. Me. So, That's good for business there's that. Good for the community. <laughs> Thanks, Jim. Cool. We are seeing good industrial happen. demand kind of come up, but Industry it's also kind of going down. The for the moment, I do want to grab well, some of this out over here. We'll make that into no industrial. Bug, Wonderful. We're going to be cracking 5,000 fairly soon for our population. That is good. Good-looking luxury items. Phenomenal. We don't have anything like post, post services at this moment. So that's probably something that we want to do. So this is a post office. This is a mailbox. Boxes used by citizens to send out their mail. Okay, so we built it, like, along the road. And then the post office is what sends... Okay, I gotcha. So we could definitely put in a post office right up over here. How much does that cost? 45000 a month. That's pretty expensive. These mailboxes don't actually cost anything. Okay, so the post office provides basically everything that we need for now. We don't really need any mailboxes here. Okay, sounds good. Vehicles in use, zero. So maybe we do actually need mailboxes. Post vans and trucks pick up mail from mailboxes around the city. Citizens can also drop off their mail directly at the office. Okay, so I'm guessing that if we were to build a mailbox down here, it would then go and pick stuff up. We could also theoretically put in a mailbox like in these areas where we have significant lack of coverage. So something kind of like that. And we could also put a mailbox like up here. Okay. So it's not required, but sure. That's fine. So we've got our post office here. Wonderful. What else do we need? I mean, we could definitely start to use some some other transit situations. We've got some transit issues. Although they're not really going to build up for a while, I think. They will build up. That's clear. We've got some demand for medium density residential, and that is absolutely great. We are definitely glad to build at least medium density residential. We'll put in two blocks of it, and that'll probably be all we need, based on how that's been feeling. ish yeah that's good ish cool what is all this oh power okay so we are lacking in power i want to check up here yep usage 100 percent so what do we want to put in we could put in a wind turbine how much would that generate zero to five megawatts okay the coal power plant generates 20 megawatts. So what is our current consumption? 22.24. Okay. So we need a small amount. It doesn't need to be much. Transformer stations. Fascinating. So this, this is different voltages. Low and high voltage. This is low voltage. So we need to step down if we generated with only high voltage, which would be... 
Something like this hydroelectric, that's only high voltage. That's the only one, though. Fascinating. Do we want to put in a waste to energy plant? That might not be a bad idea right now, actually. So we would put in an incineration plant here. That generates up to 40 megawatts? That's actually a lot. It's huge. And it's expensive. How expensive is that for the upkeep? 210000 a month? That's very expensive. But this is, I think, a decent investment. We do that. And we're now a boom town. And then I want to get rid of our landfill here. So we get rid of the landfill. We're only using the incineration plant now. And that, of course, means that we can put in these little bits of road. Phenomenal. So that'll go in right about here. Looks good. Now that's going to be quite expensive. No doubt about that. And we'll have to wait for it to come online. It'll need to have some garbage before it starts producing. I want to take a quick look at what we have available here. So we have six available development points. We could definitely take highways, large roads, parking areas. That's actually interesting. Dedicated parking rather than parking on the road. Let's grab that. Underground parking. Let's grab that too. So that's all of that done. An automated parking building. Yeah, that's pretty neat. But we are not at the point of doing that. So I want to check, check in on our parking here. Yeah, we've got some parking lots here. Overground parking building and underground parking building. That's a little bit more expensive. That's actually nice and compact. I'm going to put in an underground parking building over here. It is not that expensive on upkeep. I'm actually thinking about putting it up here instead. So like that. Okay. For now, that'll do. We're almost certainly going to be quite negative financially due to our incineration plant. That's going to take some time. Now, we're currently not actually producing anything because we need to get these garbage trucks collecting. This will keep us absolutely fine on garbage and power for a while. We could theoretically maybe even get rid of this small coal power plant. Upkeep of 70000 a month? Maybe. Definitely maybe. I'll consider that. But we need to get some of this garbage collected. When is that garbage truck going to be back? Its load is not very high. 0.52 out of 20? Okay. Well, off we go. And once we get that garbage collected, that should solve this power issue. The power issue isn't that big of a deal, I don't think. I want to check in on the progress of our ground pollution over here. Yep. I'm pretty sure that's improving. So that's good. Okay, we have broken 5,000 with our population. So that is absolutely glorious. Not a lot of demand right now. A lot of that is due to our power outage, almost certainly. Yep, power's a problem until we manage to get this garbage going here. So we're currently producing 1.14 megawatts here. Usage of 100%. Usage of 100%. Hang on. Something's not right here. Consumption of 23.37. Production of 22.58. Yes. I think we just need to ramp up our amount of stored garbage here. I'm guessing that we're just processing this before all of this is coming in. It'll just take time for this to ramp up. It's now producing 422 kilowatts. We, of course, can go up to, in theory, 40 megawatts. And all of that that it is producing is being used. Gotcha. So yeah, we just, I think, don't have enough garbage stored here yet. We'll have to wait for some of this garbage to come back in. That's a semi-truck. That's a garbage truck coming in with half a ton of garbage. So an additional half ton comes in here. This thing is pretty overkill as far as how much we can process on it. I think that's pretty clear. 
at this moment. But as this ramps up, that will be very, very good for us, in theory. Assuming we can afford it. <laughs> That's maybe a big assumption, but we definitely are going to need to continue to expand. To that end, I'm thinking about putting in a wind turbine as just a really quick producer here. None of this is great in terms of what we get for wind production here. Okay. Do we have anything that's relatively cheap here? I mean, the emergency battery station. We could put in a second small coal power plant, but I think that's massive overkill for the moment. I really don't think that's necessary. So this is producing 21.8 megawatts right now. And this is currently producing like 150 kilowatts. We definitely need more production here, but this is just not enough garbage being generated, right? Which makes sense. That's okay. We can work with that. So what is our actual deficit here? Like three megawatts? Yes, yeah, like three megawatts. So a wind turbine, if we had a good spot to build one, that was an interesting flicker there. If we had a good spot to build one, a wind turbine would be pretty ideal. They're relatively expensive, but their upkeep is not too, too bad. I wonder if these emergency battery stations are built with their batteries full or empty. Oh, they're also quite large. Okay. It's probably built empty, if I had to guess. And yeah, these are just really bad places to build a wind turbine. <laughs> There's just no good spot for it here. We can get like 1.8. It's really not ideal. Okay. I think we just need to wait for more garbage, to be honest. Yeah, we just don't have enough garbage coming in here. Okay, so because we don't have enough garbage coming in, that means we need to grow into this plant. No doubt about that. I'm going to do it. I'm going to put a second coal plant here. I'm going to hate it. I really don't want it there. I don't feel like we have another option. So for the moment, we're going to get a second coal plant going. And this incineration plant then doesn't have to process anywhere near as quickly. It's currently producing barely anything because we aren't producing enough garbage to really sustain it. That's okay. We'll grow into it. Waiting for a hearse up over here. Sure. There's a lot of waiting for a hearse that happens. Our crematorium is, of course, up over here. Too bad that doesn't generate electricity. <laughs> Oh boy, I can't believe I just said that. Well, on that note, it's time to put a cut in here. Clearly, this has gone on too long. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings, and a very special thank you to all of the channel members for making this video possible, including ALS Gamer, Shadow Wolf, Andy McGar, Spartan News, Nick Smarty, Dimitri H, Punching the Microphone, Soccerman12 UK, Kentogan, and all the rest. And of course, you. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to support the channel, you can click the join button down below the video. And as always, I will see you all next time.